Meta has just rattled the AI scene with a brilliant stroke of innovation. We used to think reasoning was the exclusive club for 70 billion parameter models, but here we are, Meta releasing a 950 million parameter sprite punching holes in that wall. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. In this video, we are going to install this mobile LLM R1 just 950 million parameter model locally on our system. We will test it out. Plus, I am also going to tell you all about this model in addition to how mod Meta trained it and the good news is that you can also supervise fine tune it on your own data creating your own very very tiny teeny reasoning model. That's how good this model is. So heads off to Facebook or Meta. Let's get right into it. Before that I also want to give a huge shout out to our very good friends at Roop. Think of Roop as your AI's chief of staff, more of a command center than just a memo writer. What sets it apart is memory. Rube learns your preferences the way you label things, who to notify, so each task becomes smoother and more tailored over time. It lives inside tools you already use like Claude Chat GPT and with a single setup you connect a lot of apps out there. So do check it out, you will find their link in video's description. Coming back to this amazing, amazing model. Reasoning stripped of the marketing glitter is just the model's ability to chain small, reliable steps of logic, symbolic shuffling, boundary checks, unit cancellation, loop invariants until the answer becomes inevitable rather than probable. That is all what reasoning is and mobile LLM R1 is Meta's proof of concept that you don't need a data center to run that chain. You only need the right data, the right curriculum and a willingness to stop wasting flops on gossip. Let's get right into it. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. But look, you really don't need a GPU for this. You can easily run it on CPU. But if you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very good price, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description. Okay, so our virtual environment is created. Next up, we need to install a Gradio. And also because I will be creating a Gradio demo for you. So let me install it. Shouldn't take too long. I think that should already been on my system. And that is done. Next up, let's install Torch and Transformers. And that is also done. Okay, next up, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this app.py script. So what I have done, I have taken the code from their repo and I have just put a Gradio interface on top of it, as you can see here. And I will be just launching it on my local system and then we will grow from there. Okay, so let's go back and run this and then we will check it out in the browser. In the first time when you run this, this just downloads a model. And the model is downloaded. One thing I also want to mention is that this is a gated model. So you need to log into Hugging Face and also just accept the terms and condition and also just log into Hugging Face CLI by just saying HF auth login and give you a read token which you can obtain from profile from Hugging Face. I already have it, so I'm just going to launch this on my local system. And the demo is loaded here. Now, one thing you need to be aware of that these models are not general purpose models. These are supervised fine tune, which make which means that they have been given prompt and answer pairs, and they have been tuned on that, fine tuned on that. And they are more geared towards math programming only in Python and C++ and scientific problems. So let's ask it a question in our Gradio. So first one is around math. I am asking it to prove there is no largest prime number in exactly three short sentences. Then give the Python one liner that prints the tenth prime. Let's run this. While it runs, let's also check the VRAM consumption. You see, it is just consuming um, over around, I would say 2.5, even 2.4, it is just hovering around that. 
So you would just need that much VRAM, which can easily run on any CPU or good modern mobile device. And after doing the chain of thought and reasoning, you can see that it has come up with three sentences and then it is reflecting back that let me recall the first few so the proof is correct and all that stuff also reflecting back checking and then step by step it has come up with the answer but it was unable to produce the one liner as far as i can see and it has given the answer in a bit of a detail the answer is correct no doubt about that but i think instruction following is a bit weak because it doesn't give me the python code or maybe i asked for too much i think Given the size of the model, we should be a bit lenient. Anyway, so I will just try out a size question now. I'll just clear this. So I am asking it, a 2 kg block slides down a 30 degree frictionless incline for 3 meter. Compute its final speed in uh, miles per second. So let's wait. Um, let's see how it is 3 miles by the way, or 3 meters, I don't know, meter, something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I will just talk about a bit more around its training because I think that is something really, really cool. So if you look here, this is what is showing you how the Meta's training pipeline works. It is basically a three act play in one GPU friendly theater. First, the models are randomly initialized and pre-trained with uh, Adam optimizer and some values are there on their model card. And they have used a 2 trillion clean stem token and then wrapping the LR over 2k steps then coasting linearly down to some 10% peak. So I'm not going to bore you with all the optimizer details and how exactly they did it. <clears throat> but the crux of the matter is that they were able to zip again all of this while model memorized the step by step solution in its gradient. and then they turned it from small generation toy into a pocket size theorem prover and that is what it is in my opinion it's a small theorem prover and that is where they have uh, used this three lean decoder only transformer and there are three variants in it there is also a 140 million parameter 360 million parameter and this one 950 million parameter all trained with supervised fine tuning on curated prompts uh, you know things have really really gone crazy they have shared some benchmarking information if you go through it you'll be surprised how much good this model is but um, i'm not bit much of a big fan of these benchmarks because you know you could always temper them i'm not i'm not saying they did it but i would let you read through the model and its benchmarks and meanwhile it is um, printing the response but i think due to the context window it stopped there but let me check how exactly it is doing the reasoning because i'm more interested in that and by the way this m is for unit meter so it is understanding the problem that given the mass of 2 kg length of incline is this the friction and then it is going uh, about understanding the problem it has created its own equation it has substituted the values which i have given well done you can see again look at the amount of um, computation this model has done and you know what it is going in the right direction and already has given the correct answer so this is really really impressive and that is why i said earlier that meta is, has thrown it out of the park so we already saw the coding one math one and this science one so all of it it is passing with flying color and this is all the reasoning this smallish model has done amazing amazing stuff so look again well done meta and i think we are moving in the right direction where these small and even large models could be run on cpu you might not even need these gpus please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support